Hello my friends, Liberty Garden, and uh, today I'm coming to you from my house, my study, on those rare occasions that my kids allow me to be in here. This is where the computers are and this is where my kids spend most of their time. But anyway, I'm doing a video today to do a, um, a thank you to uh, Uncle Al. His channel is DieBullfrog79. And uh, he sent me a gift uh, uh, by mail a couple of weeks ago, and I just had not had a chance to do the video. Because, as you know, I mostly do videos with my phone, and I had not figured out a way to how, how to do a video and with my hands free. So, finally I figured it out that I could use my laptop, and I'm doing that. <laughs> and I work in IT, folks. But anyway, um, what Uncle Al sent me is a... It's a thumb stud for a buck 110. I like buck 110s. I got two of them. They're brand new knives and I don't use them because uh, I like them, but I don't really, they're like my little uh, safe queens for knives. I don't use them much. But Uncle sent me this uh, little package uh, with, a, with a thumb stud and I'm going to show you how to, how to put it on the knife and also how to open the knife. So, Here's the package that Uncle Al sent me. Now there's something to be said about a person when they give you a gift, you know. Um, the attention to, Uncle Al sent me this package, a very nice package. It has, uh, I mean it has padding and everything on it. There's a lot of attention that went into it. And that says a lot about the person who sent it. Then he sent this little package here. And uh, the the name of, of, of this little thumb stud is called the the one arm bandit knife opener. So it's got a it's got a little wrench, an Allen wrench, and a thumb, and a, and a little thumb stud inside. And all this is was very neatly packaged. So there's a lot of attention that went into this little package. Here you go. It's, it's got a warranty and a, a, a set of instruction manual or an instruction manual. And then he also put a little note in here that reads um, from Tio Al. Merry Christmas, Jose. So that's very nice of him. Handwritten note. So that tells a lot. That tells you a lot about the person. Um, and also the thoughtfulness of the gift, you know, I somehow he found out probably through one of my comments or one of the conversations that I, that I like buck knives, but, uh, they've kind of gone out of style. This is one that I got the other day at Walmart. They were basically giving it away for 25 bucks. You know, this is buck knives are made in the USA. They're made by, by buck. If you ever break one, mangle it, whatever, send it back to the factory. They'll send you a new one or they'll fix it. That's how good the product is. I got this on clearance because it had a leather sheath. And nowadays, people like nylon sheaths, as if leather is something bad. The, the, the holster, I'm sorry, the holster itself is made in Mexico. Very good leather. Very nice holster. But the knife is made in the U.S. Beautiful knife. It's a little stiff. The, the, the safe, the, the lockback safe is stiff. And the and the blade itself is stiff also because I haven't used it. But these knives are excellent. I mean, this is basically I think normal price itself for about thirty six dollars at Walmart, thirty seven dollars. This is a hundred and fifty dollar knife in my opinion. That's just sold for thirty five dollars. But anyway, here's the little stud. And uh, the way it goes, it goes. You put it here on the knife. I'm just going to, hopefully you can see this. Uh, right there. You put it right there. Mm, there, right there. And then you make tighten it with this little Allen wrench. And there's tight. Okay. So there it is. Now, uh, this knife is very is very stiff, and uh, I have a spiderco knife, 
So I'm kind of used to opening up the, the blade. Sorry, let's see if I get this right. The blade with my thumb. But uh, I'm going to move back a little bit here. So the way the way Uncle Al does it is that he kind of opens it, opens, opens it halfway and then flicks it. There's no way I can flick this thing. I mean, I don't care how hard I do this. There. Because the knife is real stiff. But the way I always open my spider co is that I just put pressure on the thumb here. Here. It opens up. So that's how I open my spider co because the spider co's have a, a hole on the, on the back. So this is the same way. So it's a very, very handy uh, thumb stud. Just, there it is. Took me some practice. <laughs> I told Uncle Al that one of the reasons I had not done the, I had not done the video is because I didn't want to get cut in camera, in front of the camera, because this knife is real sharp and it's brand new. I already oiled it and everything, but still pretty stiff. It needs more use. So this is it here. You put your thumb right there. You open it. So one more time. And you can see it. I mean, you'll get used to it very easy, very easily. See, no big deal. I love these knives, and this thumb makes it. This uh, this this thumb makes it uh, excellent for pocket carry. If you don't want to be carrying it on the on the holster. Uh, one of the issues with the, with this thumb is that when you have a, a leather holster, you're not going to be able to get it back in there. I don't think so. See, it sticks, it gets stuck in there. Uh, I tried it on my other buck that has a, a nylon sheath or a nylon holster, and I can push it in just fine because the nylon gives a little bit more. And maybe the leather in time will give more, uh, give a little bit, but right now I can't get it in there. So that's fine. But here it is. Very, very nice. So there you go. Thank you so much, Uncle Al. This is a, a great gift. And uh, <laughs> I'll probably start carrying this knife more often now, now that I have an easy way to open it. <laughs> nice. Thanks a lot. And uh, I'll be sending you something in the mail. Uh, so just uh, give me about a week or so. I'm putting something together. I'll send it over. And uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Until next time.